What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Rusty and yeah, we are getting loaded guys. <laughs> we are, I can't believe I'm saying this, but we are in Pennsylvania. I know that I said I am not going into Pennsylvania and all the Northeast states, but kind of have no choice guys. Rates are kind of, you know, poopy and yeah, I gotta do what I gotta do. Like always guys, we, like I will always tell you pretty much my load rate, but at the end of the video and yeah, this load, I'm not gonna get too excited about it, but yeah, you, you guys will find out exactly how much is gonna pay out. We are right on the border of Youngtown. I think it was Youngtown, Ohio. So right over the border into Pennsylvania, we are getting loaded and this truck is trying to do something. I'm not really sure what. And I think we just got the green light. Is it still red? Oh, they just picked it up. All right. Well, this load is going a little bit east of Houston, Texas. So yeah, it's a full two day run. I need to hustle out 700 miles a day. So yeah, it's kind of easy for me to do, tell you the truth, but not a lot of people can do it, I guess. And yeah, two day run. It's gonna be happy, happy times. Hopefully we don't run into anything sussy, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, hopefully you guys stay tuned till the end to find out this load rate. And yeah, let's get going. All right, got some flooring double stacked on top over there. Can't do nothing about that. Ah, it's all good. Ah, just gonna tie her up. We good to go. Always take a take a picture of it. Let's get out of here. Yeah, you gotta have a little canonies, you know what I'm saying? Little, little nuts or big nuts, whatever you want to drive in little tiny cities like this. I mean, making these turns is almost impossible, but if you're a professional, you know what I'm saying? You can do it. You just need to go all the way to the edge and just block the whole street and turn. I mean, that's just what you gotta do. Bruh, where am I right now? I I literally, ugh, dude, did I turn on the wrong street? Oh my goodness. Like, sometimes it be like this, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. Alrighty, back on the main interstate welcome to ohio right there yeah you we're going on i-80 right now and then i think we're gonna be hitting arkan or something like that i'm not sure some city in ohio and then we're gonna be going down south to cincinnati i might as well answer some questions you guys had uh something about my youtube channel why am i posting very little now i think everybody knows because of the war in ukraine that some stuff has happened actually i think i did a video and i did a q a and stuff like that and i didn't answer some important questions that i think i should have but yeah i do have a lot of people coming over to the states yeah family members and stuff like that so i've been busy with all of that plus i have a some and a bunch of people in ukraine still left that kind of our fighting so kind of handling that situation sending little presents here and there yeah kind of dealing with that so but other than that other than that i have another question that i, I think his name was adam wheeler or something like that and then i had about 300 of you guys asking am i putting my semi truck that i am rebuilding back on the road i don't know and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it is the 2020 Volvo rebuild episodes that I am doing on my channel. Go ahead and check it out. You'll see what I'm talking about. I think I'm going to have to, but I'm still not quite sure. This lease program that I'm doing here is still okay, but I am throwing thousands of dollars away every week on this lease plus big dispatch fee so yeah is it worth it it's still worth it for me right now to do this lease thing because it's like new truck i just do think it'll be more worth it just putting my volvo on the road making myself owner operator finally i'll make everybody stop asking so much questions but at the same time i think all you guys know that market is high 
could sell it make some dough you know i don't know and i don't have a dry van or any trailer so i'm gonna have to buy that also invest into that so i don't know still a question mark guys but yeah follow follow those videos yeah it's 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 getting there it's getting there and i probably when this episode comes out the semi rebuild probably is already done so What the heck is going on? What is this guy flipping me off for? What the heck? I don't know what that was, but this guy just like slammed his brakes on me and <laughs> I didn't do nothing. It's a three lane road. What the? Uh, I guess welcome to Ohio. Uh, hopefully you see yourself on YouTube, my friend. It is pretty out here though. A lot of lakes and stuff like that but man that guy just it, he didn't get me angry I, I just know the rules of the road you really can't get angry at people like that I'm not really sure what his issue is the problem is I can't even show you guys on dash cam I have a dash cam right there I'm having issues with it it keeps turning on and off I think the memory card is degraded all the way so I can't even record nothing on there I'm about to switch it out next time I stop but yeah he just went in front of me and slammed his brakes i've looked at my mirrors plenty of times it was a subaru outback and i did not see him anywhere near me i did not cut nobody off or anything not really sure uh white old guy so yeah whatever hopefully he has a uh, you know a blessed day but yeah we continue on trucking We are driving through Cincinnati and yes, I asked her permission. Trust me guys, I always ask. And yeah, we are almost there at our first stop and I haven't, it's been a while, man. I don't really take breaks often. Only one break while I'm fueling. That's exactly, what are you, what are you looking at? This trucker was like looking at me like I'm going slow. I'm going 65 on a 55, bro, chill out. Yeah, but we're about to fuel up take a 30 minute break. She is kind of a beautiful city. I did a video picking up downtown Cincinnati, Ohio. Go ahead and if you guys haven't seen that, watch that now. It's pretty nice views. I walked around, they loaded me for about four and a half hours. I was pretty mad. Broker lied to me, telling me, you know, that it wasn't a floor load, I asked, but whatever, we're just gonna ignore that. And, oh, 40 mile per hour turn, Ugh. Yeah, so, I like the city a little better than, for example, New York. When I was here, a lot of people compared this place to New York, but I was like, dude, this place is kinda small compared to New York, and they said, yeah, but the people, and, and, and it's true, the people, man. Oh, 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 oh. The people are a lot nicer here, it seemed like. Not 100% sure, obviously, but it just seemed like it. Welcome to Kentucky. Noise. Camera's all dusty. Well, boys, it's dark. I guess I'm gonna park within, I think, five more hours left, go to sleep, and I'll see you tomorrow. I got my drugs, got the nasty other drugs, and yeah, we got about 15 minutes left on our sleeper. We're about to do our PTI and head out.
Yesterday, we made it right outside of Nashville, like 100 miles outside of Nashville. So we got about, I think, 100 miles to go until we hit Memphis. And then we're gonna go to 55 South and hit I-10 towards Texas. But man, it's a beautiful day. It's green outside, 75 degrees not uh, Fahrenheit. So it's really nice. We're all still alive for now. So yeah, it's a good day to truck drive. Welcome to Mississippi. Taking my 30 minute break right outside of Jackson, Mississippi, just past her. So yeah, that was uh, kind of congested a little bit. But yeah, let me show you um, what I'm eating, I guess. You, some of you guys wondering sometimes what I eat. I got a little $10 toaster oven from Walmart. It does its job, got an inverter, it works. Got some sort of... <laughs> got some kielbasas and stuff like that from the house. Got some sort of nuna bread or whatever it's called. Yeah, th this is like... Uh, it's like Ukrainian Russian style. Pretty much there's potato stuffed inside of that. They sell these in Aldi. They're pretty bomb. They're like $2. So always get some of those with me. And yeah, my bed set up and my zero breeze machine. A lot of you guys actually were wondering how's the setup going and everything like that. I'm not sure if I showed you how I tied it up up here, but it used to be sitting on the bed right there. And now it's up here. It is a little tight fit. I had to squeeze this little thing back here but it still works i mean it works really great i need to confront something to you guys so this zero breeze machine when i got it it wasn't working that well because i wasn't utilizing everything properly so let me explain when i got this machine i had both of these exit pretty much these are exhaust fins so this one and this one both of these are supposed to go outside right that's what i thought that's what the video showed and everything like that but that is actually completely wrong if any of you guys are wondering about ordering this machine you guys have to remember that there's a fan here this is actually not an exhaust only this one is the exhaust this one actually sucks in this way and it only comes out that way it sucks in this way, it blows cold out of this way, and the exhaust is only on that side. I had both of these facing outside. So when this hot air was pushing, you know, the hot outside, it was also sucking in the hot air to this one. So this is a little different. Since I have this open, it sucks hot air from my cab, sucks it out and throws it outside and blows cold over here. So it's utilizing everything properly. And that's how you're supposed to do it. Also, Zero Breeze was also nice enough to send me this little adapter thing. So this thing is called a power extension dock for the Mark II. This thing charges both of the batteries while, it's char while you're using the unit. For example, it's connected to the charging port and to the batteries, and then the unit is also connected right there. So yeah, I have the inverter on all the time when I'm sleeping. I remember at night, these batteries last about four hours each. So right when this one started beeping, I switched it over to that one. And you know, it's kind of annoying. It disturbs your sleep a little bit. So they thought of this little thing and it's pretty awesome. Now the whole night and pretty much unlimited until I guess the truck battery starts beeping and dying, but it's not going to. I think I did uh, 20 hours with this system and the AC ran for 20 hours straight and I had no issues. So yeah, this thing's awesome. The Zero Breeze itself is awesome. I actually have two of my truck driving friends that ordered Zero Breeze from them. I don't know if I'm talking uh, here and maybe I'll input this video right now of their setups but yeah this is pretty great for truck drivers I do recommend it, it is a little expensive but 
I think it's worth it, especially to save diesel. I'm gonna go ahead and chow down on this and then we're gonna keep on going, keep on trucking. Well, it won't be a rusty cracker video if we were not in a traffic jam or accident at least once a video. So, you know, there you go. Welcome to Louisiana. $800, $805, and I wasn't even empty. Morning, morning everybody. It is nice and beautiful out here today, east of Houston and we are making our delivery right now. This load right here came right outside of Pennsylvania and Ohio right there off I-80 and it was approximately 1,400 miles and it weighed about 32,000 pounds flooring material and this load right here paid out 3,500, 3,500, which the freight in this market right now is collapsing. I think that's pretty good. But diesel, on the other hand, as you can tell, I filled up for like $800 yesterday and the other day I filled up for 555. So yeah, I don't know guys, it's getting to a place where it's about to be not worth it, but just gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. And last night, this is Houston, by the way, almost close to Houston but I had to run my AC unit all night as you can tell you can zoom in right there I have the exhaust and then the water pipe thing right there sticking out oh man it worked great all night I was nice and cool and I had it on a low setting can you believe that yeah this thing the AC unit just works great I mean it saves me money as much as I can so yeah if you guys are interested in that easy breeze check him out I'll put a link down in the description and yeah a bunch of stuff that I have got from youtube for free i'm not sponsored by any of them all obviously but great items to use for trucking so yeah thanks for watching guys like always i appreciate it for everything watching all my videos watching my rebuild videos on that volvo i have and trucking around america i appreciate it stay tuned for more videos i'm gonna have different stuff here and there coming up very soon like my vlogs and maybe some other different types of videos so i appreciate it deuces